Yeah, it feels like Uma and the Across Bridge have pretty much permit or positioned themselves pretty well for the multi-chain future. So what do you see as like Uma's role uh, in this multi-chain future? And do you feel like you're, you are positioned as well? One nerdy view here. Um, when you're on a single blockchain, uh, atomic transactions, atomicity, atomicity makes a lot, is really important. Being able to do things like flash loans, everything happens in one transaction and you're done. Um, the optimistic oracle design works less well in that environment because in the optimistic oracle design, you need to uh, wait this dispute period or this challenge period. And so if you're trying to do things atomically, well, it's kind of annoying. You, you have to program it differently. But in a cross-chain world, there is no atomic transactions anymore. They're not possible. It's like something happens on one blockchain and then like you got to get it to another blockchain. They're, they're, they don't happen at the same time. And so an optimistic system actually works really well here because there's already a break, a delay between these two things. And so you can prove things on one chain versus another optimistically in a way that like fits with, with the, the system. And this is like a super nerdy answer, but basically because a multi-chain world is fundamentally not atomic in lots of ways, the optimistic oracle works really well uh, because it's not an atomic system and it can communicate these truths between blockchains. So this sounds like it's that two hour delay is a feature, not a bug, correct? I, I kind of think so, right? And you can think of like, um, like, look, everything multi-chain and Vitalik made these points too. Everything multi-chain becomes significantly more complex. You now have to think about the security guarantees of different chains and how they interact and all that. Um, but introducing a delay or a challenge period feels like a safe way to, to uh, one of the safer ways you can understand the complexity or sort of sandbox um, what's going on on different chains. Um, so I think that's really useful and really important. Um, that's like the nerdy answer. And then, you know, on just a really pragmatic practice. So, and then on a pragmatic and practical level, um, uh, a multi-chain world, people are using blockchains to do more things. We're going to like, uh, we're going to build social media on a blockchain. We're going to build all this other sort of stuff. So the, the use cases, the types of data we need um, in those applications, I think are just much broader, right? Um, uh, and we're not just needing price data. We need all sorts, and it's certainly not price data on just like the top 50 cryptocurrencies. We need all sorts of other types of data. Um, uh, and that's where this design works really well. Being able to prove any bit of arbitrary data onto any blockchain, like that's a feature. <laughs>